we're getting ready to learn prime numbers. So I want to show you something first before I explain what prime numbers are. Let's take the numbers 1 to 10. So I'm just going to write them down my board. Now you already have learned about factors, right? And remember, factors are numbers that when multiplied together equal the number you're aiming for. So what I want to do is I want to go through each of these numbers and write the factors for the numbers. Let's start with 1. 1 times what equals 1? One? 1 times 1 equals 1. So guess what? The only factor of 1 is 1. No other numbers are factors of 1. What about 2? Ah, we know that 1 times 2 equals 2. Any other numbers? Nope. Let's go to 3. 1 and 3 are factors of 3. Let's keep it going. When we get to 4, we know 1. 1's a factor of everything, if you haven't noticed that yet. But we also have 2, right? Because 2 times 2 equals 4. What about 3? Nope. What about 4? Yes, because 4 times 1. So let's keep going. Factors of 5 are 1 and 5. What about six? We've got one, two, three, and six. What about seven? Just one and seven. What about eight? We've got one, two, four, and eight. How about nine? One, three, and nine. And what about 10? One, two, five, and ten. Now you can barely see that, but here's what I want you to notice here. Are there any numbers here that have exactly two factors? Meaning there's two numbers when multiplied together, they equal that number. Well, two is one of them. Three has two factors. Five has two factors. And seven. So, between the numbers 1 and 10, we have the numbers 2, 3, 5, and 7 that have exactly two factors each. Well, guess what? That's the definition of a prime number. A prime number has two factors. It's always 1 and that number. So we can continue past 10 and look for other numbers that have exactly two factors. Now, I do want to point out, you want to notice, I didn't highlight number one. One is not a prime number because does it have two factors? No, it only has one. So that doesn't count. We're looking for two factors. One, that is the number one, and the other one is that number. So let's continue past this 10. Give me the next few prime numbers. Well, let's think. 11, is that a prime number? Well, what are the factors? 1 and 11. So guess what? That is, I lost my pen, there we go. 11 is a prime number. What about 12? Nope, 12 has numbers like 2 and 3 and 4, not a prime number. 13, that's a prime number, only 1 and 13. 14, nah, 7 and 2 go into that. 15, nah, 5 and 3 go into that. 16, we got 4s there. 17, only 1 and 17. How about 18? We've got 6s and 3s there. What about 19? Ah, it's just 1 and 19. So, between the numbers 11 and 20, we have another 4 prime numbers. We could continue on and on like this, just looking for numbers that only have 2 factors each. Again, that is the definition of a prime number. That's it. You are all caught up on prime numbers. Thanks for tuning in. I'll talk to you later. Bye.